guys it is hulu here from window 10 hacks and i am posting this video just to give you guys a free training uh and just to let you guys know that we also have the online uh, window 10 school available now so in this course if you purchase it it's 500 dollars. you guys are going to be getting about 175 dollars worth of tools shipped to your house from our supplier premium guard so this is going to come with a beginner toolkit it's going to come with all of the supplies literally inside the video you guys are about to watch um, so if you want and have and need the tools, you can order it and then watch this video later. Um, but yeah, guys, just a little uh, heads up. You guys can purchase the course. Everything in here is going to be a full business course on how to start your own tent business, how to, of course, tent cars and how to scale it to six figures. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. It took a while to make that one and it was a lot of work to get a supplier to create a kit and everything for you guys. So um, make sure to use our discount code WTH if you guys need to order anything from Premium Guard. And now let's get back to the video. Hello, welcome to Window 10 Tax Beginner Tutorial. This video is a step-by-step -step guide we built with the beginner kit you received. If you haven't received your kit, then please skip to the next section and come back when your tools arrive. Today, we are going to be going step-by-step -step showing you how to get a great first install. Let's start by going over all of the tools you have received. Tool number one is 25 feet of window film. This window film is designed to be cut, molded and installed to the inside of the window. The measurement of this window film is 40 inches by 25 feet, which is more than enough to do all the windows on a sedan or truck. Tool number two is a bulldozer. This tool is used to get into hard to reach areas on back windshields and front windshields. Tool number three is a standard heat gun. This tool is used to shrink window tint and get rid of leftover moisture. Tool number four is a Mac tack or shrinking tool. This tool is used to shrink back and front windshields without damaging the film in the process. Tool number five is a hard card. This tool is used to specifically shrink side windows and sometimes edges of window film on front and back windshields. Tool number six is a squeegee. This tool is used to push out water from the window film. Tool number seven is a white scrub pad. This tool is used to clean the windows before installation to help break down dirt on the windows. Tool number eight is a corner card. This tool is used to tuck in window film into hard to reach areas like the bottom of side windows. Tool number nine is a cleaning scraper. This tool is used to scrape side windows when they are very dirty. Side note, these are very dangerous and you need to use extreme caution when using them. Tool number 10 is a blade. This tool is used to cut the patterns of window tint that we will be installing. Tool number 11 is a straight edge. This tool is used to cut straight edges for your window tint patterns. Tool number 12 is a spray bottle. This tool is used to spray liquid on glass and film to be able to slide the film into the windows. Tool number 13 is a tool pouch. This tool is used to store all of your window tinting supplies. Tool number 14 is a microfiber which is used to dry the windows. Tool number 15 is vinyl. This tool is used to cut out windows without scratching the glass. Tool number 16 is a mini squeegee. This tool is used to push water out of smaller hard to reach areas. Additional tools that will be needed for today's install are tools you can get at local stores. Additional tool number one is dryer sheets. This tool is used to add a soapy solution to back and front windshields in preparation to shrink and mold the window film to the glass. Additional tool number two is a slip solution. In the video, we are using a window tint solution, but we recommend you to use Johnson & Johnson Baby Shampoo for your first install. Additional tool number three is a Sharpie. This tool is used to mark the film and prevents you from cutting on the glass, which can cause permanent damage. Additional tool number four is extra microfibers. This is useful so you can always have a clean and dry towel. Additional tool number five is a large towel. This will be used for back and front windshields to protect from water getting into exposed areas. Additional tool number six is a tape measure. This tool is used to measure all windows in order to cut the right size pattern every time. Additional tool number seven is a chair. This tool is used to sit down for long periods of time, obviously. Additional tool you will need is a table to cut on. We would recommend a plastic table and use them side by side. Now that we have all of our tools situated, let's go ahead and analyze the vehicle we will be working on. Also try to work in the well-lit environment, this will help you see any issues with the install. You want to be working either in a garage or in some sort of enclosed space. You need to avoid wind when you first start window tinting. You will also need enough space to be able to open the doors so you can work on them. 
For today's install, we will be doing a technique called top loading. The objective of this technique is to load the film from the top half first and once that's secure we load the bottom half. Before we get started let's mix our solution which will need to be baby shampoo and water. For today we will be using two bottles, one will be just water and one will be soap. The soap solution will only be used to install window tint and the water will be used for everything else. Slip solution is based on the temperature of your work environment. If it is very hot then you want to use more slip and if it is very cold then you want to use less slip. Today it's a bit chilly so we will be using less solution. 1 to 2 pumps should be fine for today's installs. Next we need to clean all of the windows and panels so that way we can have a clean work environment. The windows don't have to be perfectly clean, but it does have to one wipe down enough to take away most of the dirt. For the back windshield make sure you use a scrubby pad to get the glass as clean as possible before laying down our soap. Next step will be to spray out dryer sheet and rub it together to create a soap-like substance. Once you have a soapy dryer sheet then rub it evenly on the glass. Ensure that it is wet and not dry at all so you don't miss any spots. Make sure to let the back glass dry and then move on to the next steps. The next step will be to measure out the front windows and ensure you get the widest parts of the glass so you don't cut too short. I usually cut about 2 inches outside of the glass on each side. Once you have the length then cut evenly down the middle to create two patterns. Next step will be to lay down your film with water and make sure the film is hugging you and that you have lined the film up at the bottom to be a quarter of an inch below the glass ensuring no light gaps. Make sure to anchor your film down with a squeegee to make sure the film doesn't move. Spray again and lay down your second piece of film and ensure it's hugging the car and not you. Once you have the film placed then anchor the film with an X and make sure not to have any water being used on this side yet. Next step is to sharpie both sides with a thick line. Now roll your window down 3 to 4 inches ensuring that the window does not move when rolling down. Once the window is rolled down we will begin cutting the top edge of the film. Make sure your blade is sharp and put the blade length out 2 to 3 blades. Cut only what you can and on the edges take your time to make sure the film is flat on the glass. Once you are done you will bring the film to the table and begin cutting out the edges and making sure you cut 1 8 of an inch outside of the sharpie lines and connect all the lines using your straight edge. Next step will be to round all of your corners. You don't want sharp edges because the film will get caught in the corners and will get pinched. This will most likely cause the film to peel over time. Next step will be to do a wet shrink. This technique is used to shape the film to the glass. Make sure to have the bottom of the film a few inches from the bottom of the glass. Also ensure one side is about an inch from either the right or left side. Bring all of the water downwards and avoid touching the side where the film is still not flat on the glass. Begin to run the heat gun on low heat facing upwards, searching for what we call fingers. Once you find one you will leave the heat for 1 to 2 seconds, and if you can't find one then you make them by flicking the film upwards. The goal here is to basically loosen up the bottom few inches of the film. You need to be careful not to burn the film in this process so be swift and quick with the heat. Next we will begin prepping our glass. Step number one would be to have the window all the way rolled up. Have your soap solution ready and spray the entire window. Once wet grab your corner card and microfiber and clean the seals. Next step is to scrubby pad the entire glass. Once scrubbed then use your scraper to go over the whole window. Careful not to drop this tool. Spray again and squeegee off all of the soap into the edges and down. To finish off the bottom half make sure to spray and clean the edges one more time. Now roll the window down 3 to 4 inches and spray the entire window. With the window wet scrubby pad the window and use a wet part of the microfiber to clean the top edge. There is always a lot of dirt and contamination on top of the glass. Then use your scraper on the rest of the glass. Once scraped spray again squeegee off the entire window. To finish make sure you pressure wash and clean the edges again. Now that the window is clean let's roll it up to the top and leave a small gap from the glass to the seal. Grab your film and lay it down on the panel. Spray your fingers and peel off the liner to the middle of the smallest side. Once the liner is down spray the film with our slip solution and spray the interior window. Reach over the door and slowly peel the film off the car and bring the film to your side of the door. Make sure your fingers are wet and only grab the very edges of the film so you don't contaminate the film in the middle areas. Now begin your install and line up the film with the top of the glass. Leave a minimal gap but ensure the film isn't too high because it will peel over time if it rubs against the seal. Use your mini squeegee to lock the top half of the film. Never squeegee anything on the lower half. Only squeegee 5 to 8 inches of the glass. 
We will take care of the bottom on the next step. Make sure to get all water out of the top half and ensure the film is not moving. It's important that you use the right slip solution on this step. If you have too much soap the film will move way too much and not be secure. If you don't have enough soap then the film will get stuck during the install. It's important to have the right mix. Before rolling up the window, make sure to use your corner card on the top two edges. Now let's roll the window up. Once the window is rolled up all the way we will lift the bottom lip and pressure wash the exposed glass. Once the glass is wet use your mini squeegee to wipe the area down. Spray again to make sure the glass is wet and peel the clear liner off the rest of the window film. Make sure you spray the film it can never be dry. Next install the right side of the film and then install the left side. The film will begin to touch the bottom seal so make sure do not force the film into the bottom. Use your gray card to pull back the seal gently to be able to slide the film in one section at a time. Once the film is in then begin squeezing the film sideways or down. Use your corner card to get the edges where water is too hard to reach with a large squeegee or mini squeegee. Double check your work from the outside and use your heat gun to dry out any remaining moisture. Now let's move on to the next window. All of the steps will be the same on the back window but the top cut will be a bit different. Let's begin. The next step will be to measure out the back windows and ensure you get the widest parts of the glass so you don't cut too short. I usually cut about 2 inches outside of the glass on each side. Once you have the length then cut evenly down the middle to create two patterns. Next step will be to lay down your film with water and make sure the film is hugging you and that you have lined the film up at the bottom to be a quarter of an inch below the glass ensuring no light gaps. Make sure to anchor your film down with a squeegee to make sure the film doesn't move. Spray again and lay down your second piece of film and ensure it's hugging the car and not you. Once you have the film placed then anchor the film with an X and make sure not to have any water being used on this side yet. Next step is to sharpie both sides with a thick line. On this step we added a sharpie at the bottom as well to cut out on the table. Now roll your window down 3 to 4 inches ensuring that the window does not move when rolling down. Once the window is rolled down we will begin cutting the top edge of the film. Make sure your blade is sharp and put the blade length out 2 to 3 blades. Cut only what you can and on the edges take your time to make sure the film is flat on the glass. Once you are done you will bring the film to the table and begin cutting out the edges and making sure you cut 1 8 of an inch outside of the sharpie lines and connect all the lines using your straight edge. Next step will be to round all of your corners. You don't want sharp edges because the film will get caught in the corners and will get pinched. This will most likely cause the film to peel over time. Next step will be to do a wet shrink. This technique is used to shape the film to the glass. Make sure to have the bottom of the film a few inches from the bottom of the glass. Also ensure one side is about an inch from either the right or left side. Bring all of the water downwards and avoid touching the side where the film is still not flat on the glass. Begin to run the heat gun on low heat facing upwards, searching for what we call fingers. Once you find one you will leave the heat for 1-2 to two seconds and if you can't find one then you make them by flicking the film upwards. The goal here is to basically loosen up the bottom few inches of the film. You need to be careful not to burn the film in this process so be swift and quick with the heat. Next we will begin prepping our glass. Step number 1 would be to have the window all the way rolled up. Have your soap solution ready and spray the entire window. Once wet grab your corner card and microfiber and clean the seals. Next step is to scrubby pad the entire glass. Once scrubbed then use your scraper to go over the whole window. Careful not to drop this tool. Spray again and squeegee off all of the soap into the edges and down. To finish off the bottom half make sure to spray and clean the edges one more time. Now roll the window down 3 to 4 inches and spray the entire window. With the window wet scrubby pad the window and use a wet part of the microfiber to clean the top edge. There is always a lot of dirt and contamination on top of the glass. Then use your scraper on the rest of the glass. Once scrape spray again and squeegee off the entire window. To finish make sure you pressure wash and clean the edges again. Now that the window is clean let's roll it up to the top and leave a small gap from the glass to the seal. Grab your film and lay it down on the panel. Spray your fingers and peel off the liner to the middle of the smallest side. Once the liner is down spray the film with our slip solution and spray the interior window. Reach over the door and slowly peel the film off the car and bring the film to your side of the door. Make sure your fingers are wet and only grab the very edges of the film so you don't contaminate the film in the middle areas. Now begin your install and line up the film with the top of the glass. 
Leave a minimal gap, but ensure the film isn't too high, because it will peel over time if it rubs against the seal. Use your mini squeegee to lock the top half of the film. Never squeegee anything on the lower half. Only squeegee 5 to 8 inches of the glass. We will take care of the bottom on the next step. Make sure to get all water out of the top half and ensure the film is not moving. It's important that you use the right slip solution on this step. If you have too much soap the film will move way too much and not be secure. If you don't have enough soap then the film will get stuck during the install. It's important to have the right mix. Before rolling up the window, make sure to use your corner card on the top two edges. Now let's roll the window up. Once the window is rolled up all the way we will lift the bottom lip and pressure wash the exposed glass. Once the glass is wet use your mini squeegee to wipe the area down. Spray again to make sure the glass is wet and peel the clear liner off the rest of the window film. Make sure you spray the film it can never be dry. Next install the right side of the film and then install the left side. The film will begin to touch the bottom seal so make sure to not force the film into the bottom. Use your gray card to pull back the seal gently to be able to slide the film in one section at a time. Once the film is in then begin squeezing the film sideways or down. Use your corner card to get the edges where water is too hard to reach with a large squeegee or mini squeegee. Double check your work from the outside and use your heat gun to dry out any remaining moisture. Now let's move on to quarter panels. These can either be easy or very difficult. The main point here is laying the film down, putting a light behind the film and tracing the perimeter with a sharpie. Once you have the perimeter then take it to the table. You will want to cut right outside of your sharpie line. Now let's prep. Spray the inside of the quarter panel and use your stubby pad to break down any dirt. With your mini squeegee now push out all of the soap. Do this twice to clean as much as possible. Once the window is clean grab your film, peel the liner and begin your install. Make sure to squeegee out front the middle out or front the top down. Use a microfiber to clean once you are done. Now we will begin the back glass. Step 1 The back glass is to make sure the soap you applied earlier is fully dry. Step 2 is to lay the vinyl all around the perimeter of the glass. You want to get as close as possible, but the goal measurement is one quarter around the entire glass. Then you will get a tape measure and measure the entire glass. Give yourself about 2 inches extra on each side for any mistakes. Once you have the measurement, head over to your film and lay it down next to the box. Unroll your film with the window film facing down hugging the table. Cut out the measurement and reverse roll the film. Once the film is rolled up you will get your scrub pad slightly wet and lay down a straight streak of water. Now unroll your film gently onto the glass. Once the film is on the glass we begin by cutting out the perimeter. Now that the perimeter is cut let's begin shrinking. Now you will start to shrink. I recommend to leave the heat gun on for a few seconds and keep the heat a fist distance away from the film. Never leave the heat gun in one place for more than a second because the film will burn. You will apply heat until the film takes shape and then push out with your Mac tack. Take your time and work inch by inch as you see in the video. A quick tip is to break the window into four sections. Work on the bottom two sections first and then work on the top. This will take time to get good at, so use your heat gun on low heat when you begin. Once you have the film completely flat to the glass, then you will remove your tape and run the heat over the edges one more time ensuring the film is fully molded. Now we will begin the prepping of the glass. You will need a bulldozer tool, a scrubby pad and a squeegee. Scrubby pad the entire glass and use your bulldozer to push out the soap. Spray again and use your squeegee this time, then use the bulldozer at the bottom. Now head back to the glass and peel the liner on both sides and use more soap in your solution in order for the film to slip easily. You will now reverse roll the film and place it inside the car wherever you finish rolling. Now clean off your back glass so there is no soap residue left over. The purpose of this is so you can see clearly. Now go back in the car and spray your soap solution and unroll the film from the place you end it. Be careful not to wrinkle the film when you are unrolling the film. Now that the film is on the glass you will now begin to position the film. Once there is no light gaps then you will lay the film flat by running your hands across it making sure there are no large fingers on the glass. Now begin to squeegee from the middle out. Ensure you only squeegee with overlapping strokes so you don't leave any water behind. Do two passes and use your bulldozer at the bottom with overlapping strokes. Once done, dry your panel and use glass cleaner on all your windows. You have now completed your first vehicle. Make sure to remind the customer not to roll down the windows for 48 hours and let the car dry inside for about 15 minutes. 
Monitor the car and make sure nothing peels, 